Hello everyone, it is Master Trainer Margaret here again with this week's Tuesday tip. This week I'm going to show you one of my favorite moves for finger inflammation and tightness and even neck tension because this is connected to your neck. These little stretches are shown in the finger and foot fitness DVD that Teresa has. Basically what this does is it helps the fascia, the connective tissue in your fingers more fluid and hydrated so that it can get rid of inflammation increase your mobility and decrease pain just with this one move. Basically, you're going to be taking your finger, your thumb, and you're gonna be making a little donut shape. So you're gonna be doing this with both hands. But you're gonna make a little donut shape there. So put it here at that first knuckle, and then I want you to pull just like that. And basically what you're doing is you're thinking to pull down on this finger while you pull up with the tip of the finger, just like that. Pulling, just like that pulling down and pressing. So it's a pull down press. Now, while you're doing that, you're gonna feel some pulling right there. It's good for your fingers. And if your fingers swell, if you're pregnant, or even if you're not pregnant and your fingers swell, you gotta try this. So pressing and pulling. Okay, that's the first finger. Now, of course, we're gonna go to the middle finger. So same exact thing, a closer view of this. So essentially, see, you're taking your finger. This is where you're gonna do the middle finger next. Your thumb is there and you're kind of pulling down into a little donut shape. And while you're pulling right here, you're pulling up with the finger. So it's a press and pull. So press and pull there with that middle finger. Now you may have some soreness here. If you have some areas of your hands that the fascia is dehydrated, that might be sore. This one right here looks like a reindeer, kind of. Okay, now we're gonna go to the ring finger. So same exact thing. And as you get further over, flexibility gets more difficult. Same thing, pressing and pulling, just like that. Take some deep breaths. And now I want you to go to the pinky. I can tell I haven't done this one in a while, but you can feel that it's the same, same thing, pressing and pulling. You'll feel some stretching in there. This one's the hardest one because you're at full extension. Okay, now check out your hands and we'll do it again. So pulling up that finger, pulling up the next finger, just like that. Pulling up the ring finger, pulling up at the fingertip, pulling up at that pinky, shake it out. Now we're gonna do some little, I call it piano scales, but you're gonna go, this is just a bonus stretch. You're gonna think pinky into the thumb and then stretch. Pinky folds to the thumb and stretch. Now I want you to do the thumb. So thumb pulls in, this is the harder one, and stretch. Thumb pulls in and stretch. Now just jazz your hands a little bit. One last thing, bonus, put your thumb inside. Now, I want you to put your thumb in there, just like that, and I want you to pull, resist a little bit, but I want you to pull so hard that your thumb pops out. That feels really good. Pull, pull the stretches, your tendon in your thumb, pull, 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 until it pops on out. Shake it out, and you can even do some little bonus here. This is like a whole hand rehab sequence here. Same thing, just like that. Pull down your hand. Just like that. You can do that routine multiple times a day if you play a musical instrument or if you just type on a computer, you can do this several times a day if your hands get inflamed or tired because inflamed hands usually means that your neck is also inflamed. So keep this in your rotation. I hope that this really helps you get rid of inflammation and bring down pain. Love to hear your thoughts on this move if you plan to try it or if you've already tried it. I think I've shared this move before. I always forget, I share so many moves. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.